What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders. Happy Victory Monday. If you guys are pumped up from that win, if you're ready for a week filled with film breakdowns, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here. You guys know the drill. Today we are going to be looking at Lamar Jackson taking over this game, taking over the second half specifically, and shutting down Paycor Stadium for a massive divisional road win. We're going to start just looking at the second half. Um, for context, the Ravens are obviously coming out at the half up 13-10. This felt a lot like last year where you know the Ravens have a lead, the Bengals kind of chew back a little bit, but the offense, mostly Lamar Jackson, getting out there, taking care of business, closing the game, putting up touchdowns instead of field goals in the second half. So we're going to take a look at all of it. Um, Bengals got the ball out of the half. Bengals drove down um, 58 yards on, I think it was seven plays. They're, they're finding their groove, right? And then Geno Stone picks off Burrow. Lamar comes out, and this is where I think the, the game changed, right? The, the first half, it was a bit of a stalwart. Um, you know, the Ravens obviously being up, but, you know, the offense wasn't able to convert on big downs when the Bengals' offense wasn't playing that great. But then Lamar came out and took care of business. So we're going to start here. This is first and 10. I think this is his first play in the second half. Um, and this is going to be the deep shot to Zay Flowers. So you got Zay at the top of your screen here. We'll run it through. We'll come back, break it down. This is going to be that deep post. Just a beautiful ball from Lamar Jackson. Unbelievable catch. Go back and break it down a little bit here. So we're going to get, he's going to run, he's going to break it outside, and then he's going to you know continue the post. More of like a seam than a post. But what I also want to flag here, so the Bengals are going to be in cover three, so you're going to get all three um, DBs dropping here. Bateman's going to run this deep in, and that actually draws this safety up. The far side corner is who makes a break on the ball. So the design of the route really helped open this play up. So you're going to see right here, as Bateman starts to cross, that safety that would have been taking this away, uh, taking away the deep shot here, has to step up and cover Bateman. So it's a really nice cover three beater. And Lamar sees that as soon as he sees, he can already have the call, already has the ball cocked. This far DB, I think it's Cam Taylor Britt, heck of an effort to get there, but Lamar just throwing this on the inside track as Zay runs onto it. I mean, the air yards on this was insane. It's almost 55 air yards, insane. Um, and then Zay making a beautiful catch. I threw the end zone angle in just because a couple things here I want to note on the O-line. Um, really good protection on this. They're going to run... Play action with Ricard coming across to kick out. They did this a lot last week. Really helped. It, the, the big thing with doing this is the play action is a run fake to the left. And you're going to see the D-line flow left because they got to follow the run. Um, as they do that, it creates opportunities to double on the interior. And it also freezes the backside. And so by doing that, it gets them playing on their heels. And they're able to match up and create a wall. And that just gives Lamar, like, look at Lamar. He's just chilling. So beautiful. No pressure even remotely coming. It is only a three-man rush. Um, but we're going to watch this land into Zay. You can see it perfectly. That is just a pretty ball. And just a great catch. Great track by Zay. So that brings them down into the red zone. First drive of the second half. Then the Ravens get out there. And they do something that everybody used to hate. They're going to throw a roll out in the red zone, um, but really like how this was drawn up. This is a concept that they've used before. It was actually a concept, almost the exact same concept they used under Greg Roman. Um, and I vividly remember it. I forget what game it was last year, but they, the two guys on the outside last year just played it poorly. And so when they threw the quick out to the tight end, and it was Andrews last year, um, no blocks were set up. Guys were just in his way, but here you're going to get um, a bit of a pick on the inside, and then Dube's going to just clear out, and that creates the space, right? So right there, the little pick route, you can see creating that space. He gets through it enough, but it's enough for Mark Andrews to break the plane. So I really like the execution by Aguilar and Duvernay here. Aguilar just, this is just smart, right? Rather than trying to make contact, watch Aguilar spin. 
He's just trying to be in the way, be disruptive, don't make contact, don't give them a reason to throw offensive pass interference. Just smart vet play there. Um, love that they did a rollout and it worked. Uh, good execution by the receivers on the outside. So we go into the next drive. Burrow answers with a TD, 75-yard TD drive, 13 play, ends with a touchdown to T. Higgins. Lamar gets the ball back, and he goes 75 yards on 12 plays. So we're right here on this play. It's second and 23. This was after the Kevin Zeitler hold, um, and Lamar is going to do Lamar things here. He's going to find his safety blanket in the middle of the field. Tight, tight window. Andrews picks up some yak. Um, this was a beautiful throw. Again, we're going to see a little play action, um, enough to just kind of freeze them on the inside. You're going to have Zeitler and Mustafer working the double on the nose inside. And Andrews is just going to do what he does. So he's going to get by the level two, and he's going to sit in the zone right there and Lamar just anticipates it everyone talks about his timing his anticipation he's going to anticipate and deliver and Andrew's doing a great job on the yak to spin away from the safety who's coming across his body there and go for a little bit more that gets them into third and three uh, where Gus Edwards picks up the first I just want to watch this throw one more time just beautiful fits it where's the ball delivered you got you got to fit it in that tight window, and he does it just perfectly. Absolutely beautiful. And then this is going to be the drop in the bucket to Nelson Aguilar. Love that this was this was where Lamar was going the whole time with this play. <laughs> like that is I, I got the end zone angle. I'll show you guys, but watch the release by Nelson Aguilar. A little stutter step. He gets a little soft shoe press. And so what's so impressive about this play, first of all, Aguilar's tracking because that was beautiful. But you'll see it on the end zone angle. Watch where this ball is placed. So you see the ball in the air right here, and it's going to go to that outside shoulder. This was placed where only his guy was getting it, right? And that is what made that throw so special. It's thrown right in the bucket. This felt like... The kind of ball that Lamar would have thrown in the last couple of years and his receiver isn't able to make a play on it. Because that's a tough catch, right? Like, that's not easy. But, you know, good NFL receivers like Aguilar are able to make those catches. Um, so this was just a thing of beauty. Pass protection, holding up. But, again, what we just saw in that last play, Lamar anticipating. Rather than trying... Everybody complains about Lamar throwing his receivers open. When the ball comes out right here... Aguilar is not open. He's not looking back, but he knows it's going to be um, like, because you can see right at the top of your screen, Zay's running a curl. So he's just trying to clear out this DB. This is just where you throw your guy open and boom, touchdown. So now we move on. Yeah, move on. Sorry, guys. Okay. This is the last play. Okay, so the team exchange, the teams exchange punts. Burrow goes on a 15-yard, 80-yard drive, cuts the lead within three. How much does that feel like last year when that play happens? Basically, every time you know we'd give the ball back, the defense would blow a lead. We blew like four leads last year, um, but this is where it didn't matter. So we get to third and three on this play. This is right after the Duvernay uh, end around where he didn't cut it up field. I think a lot of us felt like. If he cuts it earlier, he's probably, you know, running for a first. Um, and so let's see what Lamar does, because this is what closed her down. And he's going to use his legs. And so I just tweeted this out, but the thing that impressed me with Lamar, they're third and three here, and Lamar's going through his, pro going through his progressions, trying to take care of uh, the ball in the air. I would argue, wasn't happy with Simpson here. So Logan Wilson, 55 here, he's lined up as kind of a four-eye tech um, showing blitz. And so what happens is he kind of is playing spy here, and he runs delayed. As Hendrickson will bend McCary's edge, Simpson leaves Wilson, so he's kind of head up on him here, to go help. So right here, he sees Wilson take a step back, and he goes to help McCary, who did not need the help. And that gives 
Logan Wilson a lane to run up. Um, good, good read, good play by Wilson. That forces a scramble. Didn't matter in the end, but I didn't like Simpson going away. Even if he's in a spy, keep your eyes on him because you're as soon as you turn, it opens that lane. You're opening a direct path to the quarterback. Um, but it didn't matter. Lamar does what Lamar does. Improvises. Hell of a block by Aguilar there. And then basically they come out. Gus converts on that third and one on the next set of downs um, and closes her down. So that's how Lamar Jackson did it. I just thought the way he threw guys open, the way he threw with anticipation, the timing in the offense, um, guys executing the O-line blocking, receivers making tough catches. It was just exactly what fans have been waiting to see with Lamar Jackson and this Ravens offense. I thought Munkin called a hell of a game. Lamar threw a hell of a game. O-line blocked a hell of a game. It was just a thing of beauty. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a great Victory Monday. Thanks for all the love. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out,